Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku and today we are solving an, a, another classic question mark question mark by Philip Newman. Uh, this is a classic Sudoku. That means replacing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outline through a through region. And that's it. We just have classic Sudoku rules. So I started with threes when I was solving this puzzle. I have three threes looking into region 4. That places a 3 here. And I have a 3 there and there. There's a 3 in one of those cells. I have a 3 here and here. So there's a 3 in one of those cells. That rules this 3 out. Um, I have 3s here and here. That places a 3 right there. Now 3 is ruled out of these cells in region 3. So there's a 3 there and there. That rules out this 3 and places a 3 over here. And finally I have 3s here, here, and here. That places a 3 in region 9. And that is my last 3 up in the top right. For sevens, I have two sevens here and a seven right there. That's going to give me a seven. Um, I have fours here and here. There are a lot of hidden digits kind of towards the beginning of this solve. The, that's kind of what this solve features quite heavily, I found, as I was as I was working my way through it. I have a hidden one in row six. One can't go in those cells, nor can it go in that one. So that's going to be a one. And now I have a hidden five. That gives me a two eight pair. Um, these guys are going to be from 2, 6, and 7. This is actually a naked 7 because it also sees a 2 and a 6. And that makes this a 6 and makes this a 2. And the 7 here gives me a hidden 7 in the central region. So this is now an 8, 9 pair. The 7 rules 7 out of these cells, so that's a 7. And these two are 4 and 6. I have two 8s right here, so I can place an 8 here to put an 8 in region 6. And it's going to be a 9 and an 8. I need a 1 and a 5 to finish this row, and I need a 4 and a 9 right here. Now I need a 4, 6, and 8 to finish off column 2, and I have a 6 and an 8 here, so that's a naked 4. It's a 6 and an 8. Now I have a hidden 4 in the bottom right corner, because of these two 4s right there. That's a 9 and a 4. And now I'm going to need a 1, a 2, and a 9 to finish off this region. I have 2s here and here, so that's going to be a 2. And these are going to be from 1, 5, and 6. That's not a 6 because there's a 6 in the top row, so that's a 6. These will be from 1, 7, and 9. That's not a 7, so that's my 7. And this has to be either 5 or 9 to finish off the region, so we're going to end up somehow resolving these 1, 5s and 1, 9s based on what's elsewhere in the grid. Now here I need a 1, 5, and 9 to finish the row. That'll be the 5 because it already sees a 1 and a 9. That makes this cell a 2. That's either a 1 or a 9, but because there's a 9 in the region, that's the 1. And that is in fact going to be what resolves all of this. So that's all taken care of now. I have 6 here. That resolves my 6, 8 pair. I need a 7 in this row. It'll go right there. And a 9 here. Now I need a 5 and an 8 right there and there. I need a 6 and a 9 to finish this row, and I need a 4 and a 5 like that to finish that row. That's now a 6 and a 4, 9 and 6. And in this region I need 1, 2, 8, and 9. I already have a 1 and 8 in row 8, so that'll be a 2 and a 9. 1 and 8. And my last two digits with classic Sudoku are a 2 and a 6. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's Another Classic. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. The link to solve it yourself is in the description of this video. And I will see you again in three days.